Come on, give him praise. Come on and magnify him. Hallelujah. He says where there's two or three gathered in his name, he would be in the midst on tonight. Hallelujah. I don't know about you, but I need him on tonight. Hallelujah. I invoke his presence on tonight. Hallelujah. I come tonight. And I bow before him as I empty cup before full father, asking him to fill me up tonight. Just as I am without one plea, oh God. I will surrender myself to you, God. I messed up, God. I'm dirty. I'm sick. I cry out, hallelujah. You're worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. Is there anybody else in here tonight that can declare that he's worthy? Hallelujah. We glorify him on tonight. Because we can simply say he's able, hallelujah. We can magnify him tonight because he's able. If he's done it once, he'll do it again, hallelujah. Oh, bless his name, hallelujah.
Come on and magnify him tonight. Hallelujah. If you know he's able, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on and give him some praise right there. Hallelujah. Good knowing that tonight, hallelujah, that he's able, hallelujah. We give him praise in the sanctuary tonight because when we think about it, it was nobody but Jesus that made the way. There was nobody but Jesus that wiped the tears from your eyes. There was nobody that came to your rescue. And I declare tonight that he's able. Hallelujah. We're just like the Hebrew boys on tonight. Hallelujah. Even if he don't do it, he's able. Hallelujah. Do I have anybody in the building tonight that can raise your hand and declare that the Lord is able? Hallelujah. You ought to be able to just celebrate. Just take a moment and think about how he came to your rescue. Think about it tonight, how he's blessed you this week. Hallelujah. The old folks said, Trump, uh, he kept you from danger seen and unseen. Hallelujah. He's able, hallelujah, to do exceedingly abundantly above all we can ask or so think. Hallelujah. So on tonight, Lord, as we prepare for the word of tonight, we declare decree, Lord, that you're able to do anything but fail. Lord, to use your man of God tonight to preach your word, oh Lord, to encourage somebody, Lord, to help somebody understand better the word of God, to pull somebody closer to you tonight. We pray tonight that this word might bring healing, oh God, bring deliverance, oh God. Bring correction, oh God, that, that, that needs some encouragement. We pray right now that this word would be encouraging to them on tonight. And most importantly, God, we pray, Lord, that you would build up, oh God, those that are weak in the faith of God by your word on tonight, Lord. We a word from the Lord. It's one word, hallelujah. And it's in Jesus' name we pray tonight. Amen and amen. Give God some praise, hallelujah, as we receive our elder on tonight, Elder Craig Butler, hallelujah. God bless you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Come on, can I get somebody just say praise the Lord or praise him or praise him? Can you just put your hands together and just give God a shout of praise? Hallelujah, hallelujah. Well, ah, uh, well, <laughs> woo wee, oh my, oh my. Well, we thank God for yet another opportunity to be here to share the word of God with you all, with the family of God. We pray. As this word will be encouraging to someone that on tonight you will just receive what you need to receive from this word on tonight. Amen. 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 I just need two or three just to say something back to me. <laughs> Amen. Because I promise you we keep you strong but won't keep you long. Amen. Amen. If you would 
uh, we're going to, I apologize to media, um, if you can, Luke, uh, from the New King James Version, chapter 8, um, starting at verse 43, and we, very familiar passage of scripture here, amen, amen, Father, we just Thank you for this time that you've allowed us to come together in your house, oh God. So, God, we dare not enter into your house. Thank you, Father, for your grace and your mercy. Now, God, we pray that on tonight, God, you would even encamp your angels around the Moss family, oh God. We lift up Pastor Moss to you right now, oh God. We charge the angels of healing to his body right now, oh God. We charge the angels of protection to his family, God. We thank you, O oh God, and we pray that there's no lack of Jesus. God bless you for every lay member here at the Potter's House Dayton International Ministries. Father, we bless you. We honor you. And it's in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Just a reminder, on this Saturday at 1 o'clock, um, those who will be teaching, um, there will be an orientation on this Saturday here at the church at 1 right this Saturday at 1 p.m. for orientation for those who will be taking on ministers intensive training affectionately known as MIT we will be praying for your strength in the Lord amen 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 well listening our watching audience amen here on Facebook and we thank those who are here in the sanctuary with us amen here we are Luke chapter 8 Verse 43, blood, 12 years, which has spent all her living, her living upon physician, neither could be healed of any, came behind him and touched the border of his garment, and immediately her issue of blood stanched, staunched, it stopped. And Jesus said to me, when all denied Peter, and they that were with him said, Master, the mall on thee and press thee and saith dashed me. Just for a topic from that scripture for me, this time, this time is for real. This woman had spent her life's savings. It tells us that she had did this with many physicians. I read the scripture. What did she go through? How many people told her what they could not do but call themselves physicians. One thing I do understand, I heard a preacher say, you should not, if you are a physician, you should choose what a physician needs to produce. So I'm wondering what and how many physicians did she go through? But here it is. Even before that, Jesus walking among the people and everybody knowing who he was, talking and just teaching, and he had these, these, a multitude of people around him. And out of nowhere, a woman comes, and I'm sure she heard that Jesus was there or would be coming past her way. And I'm sure this time, she said, I've done tried it all. This is my spiritual imagination. I done tried it all with everybody I possibly can. I don't have any more money. I've heard about this man, and this time is for real. Because I'm going to get what I need. This time is for real. I don't know about 
you, but it's a, a bit of a push in the atmosphere, if you will. Not a struggle, a push in the atmosphere. There's a push in our, sp our personal life and as well as our spiritual life. For me, for me, it's like just wanting to reach out for something. I want to cry out for help. from my mouth but a silent scream or cry what's going on there were things that have happened last year that I declared I was not going to go through or let happen to me this year I don't know if I'm the only one but I declared that I know I'm not going to let that happen what happened to me last year get me this year and I'm not going to go through that but yet and still, there's something that just doesn't feel right. Am I in the right? How's my posture compared to last year? What's on my mind? What am I thinking about? These and others have caused me to take serious inventory of my life. Over the past 18 days of this new year, and as well now have said, as some of us said time and time again, I'm not going through that through last year. And I'm not going to go through it this year. Hmm. You know, what, what, what's going on? Because truth be told, something's lingering something held on I didn't fully I didn't fully let it go I didn't fully let them go I didn't fully let her go I didn't fully let him go I, 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 I didn't fully let go it's linked with all that's going on in the world now I have to declare and wholeheartedly believe that Jesus is soon to return and I dare say none of us have time to wait to say the things of life, the unnecessary things of life. You know, the stuff that we used to care about so much, trying to prove ourselves to people, trying to prove ourselves to people, trying to fit in with other people that did not care about your destiny or mandate to get you there. Those unnecessary things. Have you ever had a moment that caused you to go into a still moment of deep thought? You start to replay your life's move. If you had 3D glasses on, you start to react to what you see. You start ducking and hiding and dodging and swatting things and, 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 and some stuff, people and things that had happened to you before. From your past, even now, it seems to be real. And you snatch off those 3D glasses only to realize that it was all an illusion or make believe. Maybe you said, I know I let that go. However, truth be told, we didn't. But I have to come to encourage you today and help you understand of Godness, of great his grace and mercy upon your life. I just wonder, have about five of you all who would declare with me in this atmosphere, in this atmosphere that this time is for real. This time is real. It's the 18th day of the new year of our Lord, and I declare that this time is for real. The devil is a liar if he thinks he's going to keep me going around that same mountain. This time is for real. No more worrying about what happened, but I'm focused on what is going to happen for my life, for growth, my spiritual maturity. No more will I allow him, her, it, them, they, or myself to stop me from getting what God has for me. This time is for real. This time is for real. I'm tired of crying. 
over unnecessary stuff. I'm tired of worrying over when I said I believe in the God. Why am I going through this part again? This time it's for real. When I clap my hands, it's for real. When I shout hallelujah, it's for real. When I give God praise, this time it's for real. No longer will I allow the words and immaturity, immature actions of others have an effect on me to throw me off track. I'm trying to encourage somebody here. No longer will I allow the words and immature actions of others have an effect on me and throw me off track. I'm pressing my restart do, 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 do over, do it again, again button. I said I'm pressing my restart, do over, do it again, and try it again button. I said I'm pressing my restart, do over, do it again, and try it again button. I will not give up. I will not quit. This time it's for real. No longer am I going to be afraid. Bear in mind. Somebody needs to just say, this time, it's for real. Ash was last year. <sighs> we thought we knew some stuff. <laughs> we thought we gained some things. And we thought it was enough. Yeah, it was enough for last year. But this year's require, requires you to be more vigilant. This year requires you to push back a little bit hard. This requires you to, as they say, clap a little bit more. The Bible says the kingdom of God suffered violent and the violent take it by force. This time it's for real. This time I'm going in guns blazing to get what I want. This time, God, I'm all in. I'm pressing my way to you, God, because you have what I need. I'm not going to get distracted. I'm not going to go to the left. I'm not going to go to the right. This time, God, it's for real. I gotta say, I, I, I believe this year we all should have that spirit of Paul <laughs> when he said, I count not myself to have apprehended. But this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind, reaching forth unto those things which are before. The next verse, I just wanna use two words I press. <laughs> I press. Look at somebody and tell them I press. Tell them to press. Tell them to press. Because this time is for real. We've wasted too much time already. I have to push beyond the people that have tried from Too many times we have haphazardly given up something that we shouldn't have that has stunned us from progressing. Take inventory. Think about what is it? How did I let that happen? Because I refuse to let the enemy think he can trick me again again with us truth be told it has happened it has happened it has happened so here it is and I told you I won't keep you long I'm going to keep you strong yes there is a change and it will happen when you refuse to let go of what you not only hear God say, but what he is saying. Refuse not to let 
of what God has said, but also hear what he is saying. Sometimes we have to look at what we are carrying with us while we're trying to get to the side. We have to decide what's more precious to us that we try to keep and what's precious to us that we have to leave behind to get what we want. Chapter 32, Genesis in the New King James Version as well, another very familiar passage of scripture and still teaches us some things, <laughs> it encourages us as well. Genesis chapter 32, starting verse 22. Starting at verse 22. And he rose up that night and took his two wives and his two women servants and his 11 sons and passed over the ford Jabbok. And he took them and sent them over the brook and over what he had. Sometimes you have to protect what's precious to you. You have to send it before you. And Jacob was left alone. And there wrestled a man with him, breaking of day. And he saw that he prevailed not against him. He touched the thigh. And the hollow of Jacob's thigh was out of joint. And he wrestled with him. And he said, let me go, for the day breaketh. And he said, I will not let thee go, except you bless me. Except you bless me. We're going to stop right there. This time is for real. This time is for real. Am I in the right position? Am I in the right posture? Am I? What am I thinking about that can cause me to replay in 3D what happened to me last year? that will block me from getting what I need this year. Three questions to keep in the forefront of your mind as you declare this time is for real. Is my posture any different from last year? And what's on my mind? This time, this time is for real. This time is real. This time is for real. I stopped by just to encourage you as I encouraged myself because I, when I got it, I said, God, what do I say to your people that will help me first? I almost broke out in tears because I realized that I let some things happen in my life. I let things happen in my life that caused me to fall short of the blessings that I wanted God to give me. That I needed him to this year on the 18th day of this new year, this new month, this time it's for real. Say what you want to say. I'm trying to encourage somebody. Let them say what they want to say. Let them do what they want to do. But this is between you and God. This time is 
for real. Listen, get that stuff off your mind that's unnecessary and get in the right posture because this time it's for real. God is about to do something for you that's going to blow your mind, but you need to declare and determine in your spiritual life that this time, is for real. Every time I clap my hands, every time I shout hallelujah, every time I get a chance to come into the house of God, it's going to be for real. No holes barred. Suffered enough. The kingdom of God has suffered violent, and now I'm violent, and I'm about to take it back by force. This time, it's for real. The woman With the issue of blood, I can only imagine pressing her way through the multitude of people, determined in her mind, this time, oh, it's going to be for real. This time, I'm going to get this. I'm tired. I've tried long enough. I don't have any more money. But this Jesus that I heard about is about to come my way. And I don't care what I have to do to get to him. I know that this time is for real. I know that this time when I touch man, I'm going to get what I need. This time is for real. Amen. God bless you. Well, we pray that tonight was an encouraging word to you. It was short, quick, and to the point. <laughs> but I pray that God has spoken to you three questions. Am I in the right position? Is my posture different from last year? And what's what am I thinking about? Take inventory. Take inventory. If you declare that this thing is for real, think about your posture, your position, and what you're thinking about. What you're thinking about. Father God, we thank you for this time that you have allowed us to come to just experience you just a little while. Father, your presence in this place, your presence among your people, oh God, help us, oh God. Help us, oh God. God, I pray that even have you spoken through your servant, that they know all of you, and that tonight, God, we have been encouraged, we have been reset, realigned, oh God. Help us questions, what's on our mind? What's our position? Are we in the right posture? Help us, oh God. Take an example of pressing on. Be able to say we have not obtained anything, but you have graced us to press even more. Father, we honor you. We bless you for your spirit that's resting in this place right now. God, help us to understand that improvement requires change. God, and we are to improve who we are. There has to be a change. So, Father, here we are. Help us to change. We are looking forward to what you will do with us even on tonight and for the rest of our lives. We expect and anticipate you, God. Move, move, move. This time is real, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Well, we pray that you have just had a time and 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 as always if
there's anything that the Potter's House Dayton International Ministries can do for you, please write us, call us, and we will make sure we will try, we will make sure we reach out to you and help you as much as we possibly can. We are the light of the world, and with that right now, we are the light of this community. So whatever it is that you may need, and even right now watching, if you don't know Jesus, and he is not the Lord and Savior of your life, we pray that even right now that you would accept him. Just say, Father, I repent. <laughs> I repent of my sins, and I want Jesus to come into my life, to be Lord and Savior of my life. If you're going to do that, you say, you are welcome to the kingdom of God. Amen. 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 Um, if you would like to sow a seed, we are at money sign, T-P-H-D-I-M-2. Money sign, T-P-H-D-I-M-2. All right? So we want to make sure that you sow your seed into good ground. Amen. Amen. And for those who are here, if you have your offering, you may come as we prepare to leave. Amen. Father, bless those who have it to give and bless those who have a desire to give. God, as we leave this place, we never your presence. Bless us and we shall be blessed. Keep us and we shall be kept. In Jesus' name, amen.